the hospital that uh, saw the patient and the laboratory that, that did the diagnosis there sent the specimens to us and then they asked us could this be a reinfection because that's what it looked like and we confirmed that it was by uh, genetic sequencing of the virus. Uh, and what is also clear is that the person from the first infection really did not have any uh, immune response. So this is a case where um, the, the person really is not capable because of a health condition of getting a good immune response. And then, of course, it's not so surprising that you can be infected again. It's not bad news. I really like to insist on that. The, the very positive aspect is that this person has been reinfected with a completely different strain. And as we predicted, or let's say as the optimistic people, you know, the optimistic scientists predicted, let's say the second time it led to no symptoms, so the person was not ill. It is actually pretty good news. What would have been bad news is if this person, upon reinfection, had been very ill. That would have been terrible. Does this now mean that uh, there's no uh, immunity whatsoever uh, to this virus? Uh, I do not think that is the case. I think these are really uh, exceptions uh, that need to be looked at, need to be studied to really understand the full spectrum of this uh, virus and the infection. But uh, my expectation would be is that they are exceptions.